Hey you guys, what's up? It's your boy and I'm back with another video today. It's a new day. I got a great feeling about today. So, a lot of you asked me to play with Taskmaster. And I told you guys, I'll give you some Taskmaster gameplay. You know. Just to get a feeling for him. And I've been using him in PvP as a support with Jean Grey. And I would say he's pretty great if you got a character who has the Weapon Master tag. I mean, Wolverine has it, and even Deadpool has it, but Deadpool will not benefit from Taskmaster because Taskmaster gives guaranteed crit rate and dodge rate and skill damage and bonus damage. Whereas Deadpool already has the skill damage and bonus damage, so he will not benefit as much. <clears throat> but when they gave him his new uniform he got this crazy crazy passive or rather uniform option or uniform bonus you know which deals damage to both uh, allies uh, superhero and supervillain now this is the same passive you know which was given to mystique and mystique costs close to 6,000 crystals 6,000 yes somewhere in that neighborhood if you're using a mega yeah now if you're not using a mega 2 ticket on her she's gonna cost you 6,700 uh, 6, crystals in the neighborhood of that but if you're using a mega 2 ticket on her she's gonna cost you 2,500 at the bare minimum and whereas Taskmaster's uniform, it only costs you like thousand crystals. And but he's great. He was great. We got some time to play with his base kit when he was re released in Hydra update. And he's he felt okay, but now that he's gotten this uniform, I think he's you know he he's in this hole with Shuri, Colson, Nick Fury type characters. They're great on their own, but not too great, and you want to use them with other characters for support. And you know, Taskmaster is a merc for hire, like Deadpool, but Deadpool is an anti- He's an anti-hero, and Taskmaster is a straight-up villain. He will, he will not work for heroes if, you give him, if they give him money, or at least I've not read that in a comic yet. So that's the difference between Deadpool and... Taskmaster and as good as a support he may be he still feels pretty incomplete to me first of all because you know the difference between the base kit and the uniform is that on a base kit he has a partial iframe on arrow rain you know and in the uniform in the game in the uniform sure Arrow Rain has a shit ton more hits. I'll show you guys. He has a lot more hits on Arrow Rain now. And even on Masterclass Merc. But they removed the iframe on Arrow Rain. And he has more airtime in for Arrow Rain in this uniform. Like see it. There used to be an iframe and he got up in the air right there but now it isn't there anymore and in for masterclass mark yeah they changed a little bit with the animation they added a bit more hits but if you see his new uh, base look you'll see there there's the iframe it was a partial iframe which could be used in certain situations to you know, get out of a boss's attack to stop the boss from attacking, even in Shadowland. On his own, he's a pretty good character for Shadowland. He can get you into the 80s if you're playing him well enough. But, you know, everybody expected more. Everybody expected tier 3, which he did not get, but still, he got a uniform. But they only gave him shock damage and burn damage on his skills, they didn't change anything too much 
like the bonus for Aerostorm did not change the bonus for Masterclass Merc did not change Dark Shield Strike did not get, get a bonus nothing got a bonus they only added this bleed damage and shock damage to his skills which is not too big of a buff for a uniform in terms of giving a buff to the character himself sure he got a support passive but you wanna play with taskmaster you bought the uniform cause you wanted to play with taskmaster right not just for the buff for me i'll be honest with you guys i'll put my cards on, cards on the table i wasn't gonna buy the uniform at first but then i saw the passive and you know i was not impressed by taskmaster sure he's a great character but now the st even the strikers are nerfed so you cannot combo him with weapon x anymore not that i have her but still you cannot combo him with her anymore because if you try to bring her in a robust level that's below your current resistance level you're not gonna be able to apply enough defense down and you're gonna deal less damage so you know that's one strategy that went down the drain so I just bought his uniform for the support passive because I don't have Nick Fury and I have White Fox but I need to tier 2 her so I need to buy her you know heroic quest one more time so in the meantime I just bought him for the in the meantime I bought him for his passive no, as for the gameplay, I'll give you guys some gameplay. And a reminder, guys. The new a uh, Agent Training Center event is on, so ask your friends or some new players to join the game. So that you can get 1000 crystals and some tier 3 materials. Well, because Netmarble shagged us on the tier 3 select and did not put Black Widow in it. So, there's that. But whatever. Let's get started, shall we? Now I'm gonna show you some gameplay with Proxima. My highest level, as you can see, is 40, but I'm not gonna bring him to 40. I'm gonna give you guys some gameplay on 30 because if you scale this up, you know, for somebody who's got high stages in luck, this could easily scale up to like stage 60 stage 65 if I'm being honest here so I'm not gonna put a support character because his uniform gives him that so I'm just gonna give him a leadership now and let's put Black Panther in because he hasn't seen you know too much action so I'll just bring in anti-venom for some healing and Let's bring in Professor X for some mind control. Not that she is gonna be mind control for eternity, right? But it's gonna be good to be able to lock her down a little bit. And one more thing I don't like with Taskmaster is that since he's a combat type, you cannot cancel too many of his skills. Ah, I forgot to give him beast buff. Oh well, we'll try again. We died. Let's try this again. Yeah, his base survivability is not great at all. Even his tier two passive does not, you know, saves him once he gets. Below 50, his tier, two, his tier 2 passive is supposed to activate. But if you're playing high stages of world boss, you know, according to your raid level and your conqueror level, you know, you're gonna get one shot or two shot because the ba boss is so much HP, so much attack that you're not gonna survive for too long, even if you dodge a hit or two. So that iframe that he had could be used in situations such as this.
Good, we got the proc. I don't want to get snared. Let's do the co op and then into the fifth. Let's get some heals. Sorry guys, I tagged him out for a bit. I thought he was gonna die anyways. Let's gain a bit of heal, you know. Cause you know your boy is a scrub. But still. He felt safer before. And now it just feels like I can't even do anything without you know kiting around. But you guys can still see right his base damage is great. If only somehow he packed a bit more of punch. Now I know he can't clear the stage. Because if we were at this mark by the time 3.30, we could have been able to clear it, but not not at this pace. But still, you know, I was honest with you guys, I told you guys I wanted his uniform for his pass uh, uniform bonus nothing else but still I wanted to give you guys some gameplay ah oh, crap I'm gonna die yep You know what, let's try him against somebody else. Let's take him against Thanos. It'll be the same team and the same strikers. Now, stage 10 Thanos is like stage 30 to 40 equivalent of other world bosses because Thanos has so much HP, defense, attack and he's annoying after those you know nine bars when he gets into the debuff immune phase so you can apply defense down and mind control and all that shebang oh great but yeah he's doing pretty well right now we'll see how he does when the defense down goes out But yeah, I would recommend Taskmaster if you you know guys like him. If you're a fan of him, at the end of the day, it's still a game, and you wanna enjoy playing with your favorite character, you know. So that's what you should do. But yeah, whereas his power level and where he currently resides in the game not too high of the tier list as you guys can see I cannot even give you proper gameplay you know cuz he's dying too fast and I've, I've been trying to play him perfectly but still he dies and there's nothing I can do about it but still, I'll show you my build and you guys will see it's not bad at all 
because he's got crit damage 160 proc I like it's not a 140 to 160 crit damage 160 proc and stage 5 hawks eye I don't know why I just gave him Hawk's Eye, but yeah, he's over on cooldown, and these are the stats, 192 on crit damage, 36 crit rate, you know, a bit 100 on attack speed. It's not a max build, but it's not too bad either, you know, but he still does not have enough survivability, but as a support, he's awesome. PvP, PvE, he's great. So that was my take on Taskmaster, you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Stay home, stay safe, and maintain social distancing. Goodbye. And yeah, please click like, share this with your friends, subscribe to the channel for more content.